Hey guys, it's me, Long Connor, live once again, along to another video of mine. Today, we're looking at another sort of trailer, but this time, they're focusing on the combat of this game. So, uh, let's see what's up on what we're dealing with here. So, let's go. IGN First continues on with yet another look at Sonic Frontier's gameplay, this time focusing on combat. Sonic is up against an all new set of baddies, some of which are among the most massive bosses baddies. we've ever seen in a Sonic game. This matter really said baddies. New tricks up his sleeve. Make sure to stick with IGN okay. all throughout June because we've got a full I'm excited, you can tell the look of my face. In store. For now though, enjoy the combat of Sonic Frontier's. Oh, hold on. Am I seeing what I'm seeing? There is something going in the background here. Something different than this side of the island. I guess we haven't seen what's all back here yet. Okay, okay, okay. I'm optimistic. But like I said, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt here, which... I don't know. Sonic is kicking and punching, and this dashy, flashy move is intriguing. And the whirlwind move. Ah, the classic. Looks kind of weird, though, like... <laughs> so I'm assuming these are not real enemies. These are just, like... Testing? Like, maybe ragdolls for him to practice on? Like... This is like target practice. Oh! I like that a lot. That's cool, man. And this is a different enemy? Okay. You just can't. Ah, here is the Pokemon Ranger circular move. <laughs> Reminds me of that, to be honest. Oh, there, there, there he does it again. Okay, some animations going on. I like that. Some interesting combos here and there. Oh, look at that! Some wide angle and... Okay. Same move again. Nice. I wonder if we get to choose which moves we, uh, we want to customize. Maybe there's an option. There should be an option for that, maybe. Who knows? That'd be a cool option. Like, Sonic, like... I don't know. I don't know. I guess you're limited to, like, a blue bouncy ball. But, like, Sonic as a character and the speed... There's, like, a lot of potential moves, right? Like, you could do so much. Like, I feel like you could do so much. Maybe I'm wrong here. I don't know. Really, maybe after all these years, he is just a blue ball. But like I said before, like, we don't know the story. We don't know what he's capable of here. Like, that move is sick. But like I said, it could be like an external tool, like a, a ring. Boots, different kinds of boots, different types of gloves. Maybe some hair accessories, like, something that we could sort of utilize and pin on him like in Kingdom Hearts you know uh, you have different keyblades that does different sort of moves and techniques and or even near Automata you have different abilities that you can unlock and this looks like a near Automata game not gonna lie to you like you can do so much things here or or, like, look at, looking back at, like, old Spyro games, you know, there's always some sort of different combat moves and magical dragon breaths and stuff, so. Honestly, all these games are looking sort of the same. Like I said before, you really replace Sonic here in this environment. And it could be any other game. <laughs> you know, so. Holy crap. 
I feel like I'm watching Kingdom Hearts here. These are Kingdom Hearts characters. They look like the Heartless. These are big Heartless characters. Okay, wow. That's cool. Different. The music in the background sounds like Kingdom Hearts as well. The whole environment. With the whole piano and like... I like that. That's actually different. I like this. Why does Sonic look so stiff though, dude? His big wide eyes. His eyes aren't even glowing. It's just... No shots. Yo, what? You can lift up a whole enemy? That's awesome. Okay, this move is cool. I think the drawback is that you're slow. Which enemy has time to take you out. But like, this is so sick. So that's just the thing that we saw earlier. It's just like, there. <laughs> Minding its own business until we had to annoy it for some reason. <laughs> that is so cool. I like this. This is cool. <laughs> so cool. I like this. Combat is cool. It, it's this potential. Obviously, we don't know what buttons he's using or whatever screen, hub, or range, or uh, bars, or whatever. It's like a time limit sort of situation. Or this is interesting how complex these moves are that you can use here. But well, this is fascinating. Big explosion, yeah. Kingdom Hearts style. Okay, I I I, I dig it. Uh, what do you guys think of this? Let me actually just look through the comments and see what they're saying. Hopefully, the person controlling this time is able to show off his agility and speed. Because I'm not sure if this was Sonic himself that felt stiff, or the person was playing Sonic. True, true, true. Okay, the combat moves and all look really cool in terms of their vir verity, but the enemies look tedious as hell to fight. It's like they plugged in BOTW enemies in a fast pace. Nah, it wasn't tedious at all. Oh, Breath of the Wild, that's what he meant. Sonic Frontiers. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like, the, I think they have the potential to make a Breath of the Wild game, but mo more less tedious and less grinding perhaps i don't know like i don't know in terms of aesthetic they have such a lot of inspiration and dynamics to use from my like i said before you got mario uh, uh odyssey to use from and all the previous sonic games so yeah i agree this is a lot better than the last video uh I think there's still work on the animation that needs to be done, to be honest. And we only got a glimpse of like the dodge move too. Like, where was that? This was this was here, right? Like, we only got a glimpse of the dodge move. There's no shielding, and there's no items that he may or may use. But this here is cool. This is like typical RPG stuff, you know. So it's like whatever. Oh, look at that. That's actually so sick. This is so cool. This is so cool. So you just dropped down three enemies here. So this is fine. Like I said, they have near Automata to like near Automata is a good game. And if they could bring that into this sort of open world shenanigans happening and uh, bring in different weapons perhaps, or different characters, that would be cool. What's annoying me, this is a bunch of birds and they're not really useful. Like, why you gotta use actual birds, not actual interesting beasts or something? I don't know. But these alien technology looking beasts are intriguing. They look like Heartless, but at the same time, some form of advanced tech, perhaps. And this is not tedious at all. I'm not sure why he's saying, like, every sort of boss always has, like, a, pr 
perfect like a three stage sort of mode but it definitely has increased my hopes up and everyone's call <laughs> colossus moment yeah that's funny that's actually quite funny okay so i'm not the only one that's like looking at this and like saying yeah it's a good it's uh it's looking better the combat is great so this is interesting Yeah, uh, I hope this is not the final result. I'm really hoping they add more to this because, like I said, it's still looking a bit dry, but it's not completely dry like the Sahara Desert right now. It's, there's a little moisture in there. Like, okay, I can see what you're working with. I can see what we're doing here. It's great. And this move, it's interesting. And hopefully the voice lines could help here because we don't hear anything from this man or the creature itself. He's like a turtle. But anyways, good job. Keep it up. <laughs> I can't wait to see what more they have. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a good night and a good afternoon. In the